from our good friends at Dark Sky Films is a a title that I think has been underlooked quite a bit from a, a guy who's a master at these kind of rip-off titles from the 80s, Ovidio Asinatis, Madhouse. So, yeah, the story um, revolves around this woman who her birthday is coming up in a few days. And uh, her uncle, and, and she's like a twin, right? She has a right. sister. And it's her sister's birthday coming up as well. Uh, Julie is her name, Julia, uh, played by Trish Everly, uh, actually the daughter of one of the Everly brothers. I don't know if it's the case or not, yeah. but not too many Everly's out there. Um, her uncle, who's also a priest, talks her into going and seeing her supposedly dying twin sister at the hospital. And uh, when she does, she notices that her sister has gone completely insane. She grabs at her, you know, and, and just tries to mock her and make fun of her and stuff like that. Makes her feel like shit, right, Uncle Bill? And I was just curious if you could figure this out. What was the whole deal with the scene at the beginning of the film where somebody beats somebody in the head with like a rock until their face falls? Is that supposed to be her sister? Yeah. Who's doing that to her? Is that just some random bitch? <laughs> like, it wasn't I her. I have no idea about that. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So anyway, she leaves, and as her birthday approaches, the sister escapes from the hospital she's in. And, you know, random people are killed off one by one. Y'all know the story, pretty much. I mean, it turns into a psychological thriller slash slasher film at that point. And there's really no surprises in this other than, uh, well, we don't give it away. I mean, there's, there is a surprise towards the end, but, I mean, it's nothing really groundbreaking or anything like that. But, um... <sighs> I really, really like this movie, and I think that the reason that I like it so much is it's not over the top, but it's not boring either. Like, the maybe the first 20 minutes of it where they're trying to establish the story is a little bit slow, but even in the like, main beginning of the film, you got a little girl being bludgeoned in the face with a rock, which looks faker than hell, by the way. Like, I couldn't even imagine anything looking any faker than... It's kind of like Lucio Fulci when he used to do that stuff where acid would dissolve people's faces. You yeah, it looks clearly like they made like Alka-Seltzer like, molds of people's heads or something. Yeah, it just it's, it doesn't look real at all, but it's pretty funny. And this is a movie, too, where it's got a dog, and it's like a giant Rottweiler thing-looking dog who's like the guardian of this woman who does all of her bidding and all this stuff. And some of the death, lot, yeah, like the omen or something. Yeah, like some that. of the death scenes with that are pretty gruesome. And there's even a scene where, like, they don't show it on camera, but a child gets killed in this movie too, which you yeah, don't see a lot of, of that. Yeah, you don't see that a lot in movies, especially killed like in a real way by like a dog and stuff. I mean, you don't see that at all. Yeah, but I think the main reason I like this movie is because there's a lot of scenes in it that are extremely fucking creepy where they're inside this house and people will get like lost in the house and this crazy ass sister of hers will kind of cackle and run through the house at them and try to, you know, I I don't know. It's just, it, that stuff is really frightening and the fact that the sister is deformed in a way that it's not completely unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like the movie too, but I think I only, to me it only picked up in the last 20 minutes of the film. I mean, it was a little, I think it was a little boring up until it really got started with the killing and stuff like that. But it's a really well-made movie. It's well put together. I think all the performances was pretty good. The uncle's performance was really, really good. Yeah, that's that's by far the best actor in the film. Uh, Dennis Robertson, I think, is the guy's name. Who I, had, I hadn't seen him anything before. I don't remember, at least. And... Uh, the the transfer on this looked really really good too from Dark Sky Films, and this is a movie that I don't know if it was released on video, but I'm thinking it was this. it was definitely released on video because it's one of the original uh, video nasties that was. Banned. I'm thinking yeah, but but it's been out of print for many years. Oh yeah, it hasn't really. been released uncut since like 2004. I think was the first time it came back in. 
Oh, really? Yeah. So it's been on DVD before? Apparently, yeah. I had no idea. Or at least on VHS. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty cool edition from Dark Sky Films. actually has an interview with uh, the director, writer, and producer, a video, G. Asanetis, and Steel Galleries, stuff like that. And Dark Sky, they really put together DVDs, uh, put together some great DVDs. And they've they've done a great job over the years, and we always look forward to checking out um, there's a, some of their stuff. So. I mean, before we end this, i got to say, there's a lot of really good gore sequences in just, not really gore as much as just death sequences in this movie that are really creepy. But by far, my favorite in the film is when the dog gets its comeuppance at the end of the it movie. It is pretty funny. I just, I've never seen that before, what happened. It's like a... They have like a hand puppet right, made yeah. that looks like the dog, you know. And it's not that bad looking, really. I mean, for that time, it's, I would consider it to be a pretty good puppet, you know. It's just one of those scenes where I was laughing my ass <laughs> off when it happened. Because you, you, you see it coming my way, but I just can't believe they did it as like graphically as they did. Yeah, it was pretty hardcore. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we both uh, recommend Madhouse to definitely check out. Um, all the slasher fans out there definitely need to pick this up. And um, yeah, if you like something like uh, like Happy Birthday to Me, I'd guarantee you'll like this movie. Yep. So that is Madhouse from Dark Sky Films. Go to darkskyfilms.com dot com and check it out. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification. Right? And it'll notify you any time that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f- if you do it. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.